That large expanse of lawn over there, that's commonly known as the bowling green. You'll see that it has sloped banks. Foster said you couldn't stay on the grass unless it's for an event or the bowl. You are actually allowed to sit on the grass banks and uh, you can enjoy uh, a summer's spring day sitting on the grass banks with friends and uh, relaxing. So you are allowed on little bits of the lawn, but not all of it. So we're going to hold that camera angle because the sun is beating down at the moment. And um, I'm going to uh, just hang on there and um, show you the orchard building. The orchard building is predominantly, again, student accommodation. And uh, it does house a couple of the fellows um, offices but mainly student accommodation. Again, as you can hear, it's very quiet, very peaceful, and uh, a really nice place to be. We're going to get a lot of uh, sun at the moment as we move down across the uh, side of the orchard building, but I wanted to show you the back gates, and across the road is one of the faculties within the university. So you are a stone's throw away from some of the faculties and the departments that you may wish to join and would be your area of study. So it just shows you, whilst uh, we're a very quiet and a peaceful haven, we do have uh, the faculties, or some of them, on our doorsteps. Again, a really good image there just shows you the facilities for uh, cycle parking for the students. Uh, and you can see there's plenty of bikes there. Okay, let's move on round. We're going to uh, take you down towards uh, Newcourt now. And um, Newcourt, most of it is again student accommodation. Dotted around the college site, there are laundrettes. And again, there are laundrette facilities within some of the hostels. Some of the hostels share their laundrettes, as do areas of the college share the laundrettes, but it seems to work very well. I've never heard a student yet complain that they can't get their washing done. So there's the Bowling Green uh, looking on its splendour on this uh, sunny morning. A lot of uh, restoration work and refurbishment takes place within the college, but the maintenance team try to factor that in when the students are not here and um, they're away on vacation. So that's what's happening over there. One of the student accommodation areas is having a refurbishment done to it at the moment. Moving down here, we now come to a building which also has more student accommodation, but it also has the junior parlour. The junior parlour is an area for undergraduates to be able to meet each other, socialise, have a party, which uh, happens often, but it's all regulated. And also, they have a cafe. Cafe Pembroke provides hot and cold snacks, opens about 10 o'clock in the morning, and also provides um, hot beverages and in the evening the cafe turns into the college bar so you'll probably get to know that place um, if you enjoy socializing and meeting up with the other students in there there's sofas a pool table a little football table tennis type table there is table tennis within the college as well we have um, that along with other sporting facilities. A lot of the sports ground facilities are a short cycle ride from the college and we'll show you a video shortly of the facilities over at the sports ground. As well as that we also do have the boathouse so if you enjoy rowing or you'd want to try rowing out um, and experience it here at Cambridge University uh, you'd be very welcome. This area also has a television lounge, so it's um, yeah, it's a social area for the students during the day and at night.
to get together if they wish to. We're going to move further down. Also housed in this area is the housekeeping department. You'll get to know the housekeeping staff. Uh, they're a great team and they will certainly get to know you as they will be there cleaning your accommodation. They're not there to tidy up after you, but they are there to clean your accommodation. So you'll get to know Kevin and his team and uh, just like you'll get to know the gardening team and the maintenance team. And there's lots of other teams within the college that make it tick, um, along with the Porter's Lodge. So you'll get to meet all these various departments as you get to know Pembroke. In this building also, there's facilities for the graduate students. They have a graduate parlor of a similar kind of set up to the junior parlour and it uh, is there for the graduate students to be able to relax, socialise, get together, have a party and uh, yeah that's uh, their facilities. Looking across you can see the library and the beautiful gardens that we do have here at Pembroke. Okay we're going to come through to the last courtyard, another pretty courtyard. This is called Ivy Court. In Ivy Court you'll see down in the distance the arched windows. These windows are leading you into the dining hall and I'll explain a little bit about catering. Um, looking round Ivy Court you have various offices. Some of the offices are housed the senior tutor who you'll get to know. You'll also house the bursary and the bursar's department. Uh, there are function rooms within this part of Ivy Court and the tutorial department and admissions are close to Ivy Court as well. So the dining hall is closed at the moment so we can't show you in the dining hall. But catering and Nina's team, you'll get to know them as well. They provide uh, breakfast, lunch and evening meals. They also provide formal dining for those students that like to dress up, put their gowns on, invite some friends and sit and have a formal meal in the dining hall in the evening and it is truly uh, a wonderful sight. Um, so you may wish to have a formal dining but Nina's team and the head chef and his team will look after you extremely well with catering needs, dietary needs and all you need to do is advise them when you arrive what those needs are and they'll be able to discuss them with you and speak with you on them. So in Ivy Court we do have some more student accommodation up on the upper floors and uh, yeah it must be really nice waking up in the morning pulling back your curtains and looking out into a courtyard like this here at Pembroke. So let's head back down towards the Porter's Lodge and we will conclude this quick tour of Pembroke and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it and if you do have any questions about Pembroke the admissions team are the ones for you to get in contact with they have all the answers to all your questions. I'm going to go through the archway. There are notice boards. This area is commonly known as the screens. There are notice boards with lots of other information about the university and things happening in and around the college. So it's an area where you often will see a student just checking out what's on the notice board. Okay, so here we are back in Old Court and down on the far area, as I say, is the pigeon holes for the students at the second archway and uh, looking after the pigeon holes is the team of porters and uh, there we go. All the best, good luck. If you pick Pembroke, I'll introduce myself uh, when you arrive and uh, we would uh, look forward to having you here at Pembroke uh, for the duration of your studies. Take care and all the best. Bye for now.